him in a moment. And Foy getting the steal, but it bounced off of him and out of bounds, and New York would get it back. There's a new player, Sean Livingston, who just signed today. Played about 10 games earlier this season with Oklahoma City after playing last year with the Heat in Oklahoma. We'll talk more about him later. New York scores. The Knicks have dropped the eight in a row. 11 of their last 12, 13 of their last 15. There's a sleepy-eyed player, but boy, he's deadly with his shooting. We all remember, I know you remember that 62-point game he had back there with the, uh, the Magic. 62 points in a game where Gilbert Arenas had 40. Yeah. One of the few shots you'll see from him inside the three-point line. <laughs> About 60% of his shot attempts are from three-point range. Thornton and a reach-in foul on Tracy McGrady, who is averaging almost 16 points a game in his three games played with the Knicks. Beginning of shoot-around, Thornton inside, tip not there, and taken down by Lee. Eddie House is in the game for New York, along with Al Harrington. T-Mac, score the field goal, he'll go to the line. What a nice little hesitation move, just froze Mike Miller for just enough so he could blow by him, cross over, and then get by him to the rim. Here's the crossover, contact from Miller, good call. Last time these teams played, Phil, and you mentioned it, the Wizards went to the free throw line just seven times. Yeah. Making six. Six of seven. The game before that, Steve, seven of ten from the free throw line. So, as I said, only 17 attempts in the two games against the Knicks. Well, the Wizards had a six-point lead a moment ago. McGee set to come in for Washington. Here's Miller spinning in the paint for Blatch. Blatch had it swatted away. McGrady with a great block. David Lee runs over Andre Blatch in an offensive foul is called. No good. McGee is there for the offensive rebound. He had only one rebound the other night against Memphis. They need him to hit the glass Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. In fact, in the two games, the team that has won the game has dominated the rebounding. And let me correct myself. That last foul was on David Lee, not Tracy McGrady. Second personal on Lee. And T-Mac has just won. See, already we've seen what we want to get more of from JaVale McGee. Here, the block shot on the Tracy McGrady shot. Just before that, he gets an offensive rebound and the stuff, the high percentage shot. So that's what you want to see more of from yeah. JaVale McGee. They just called a foul on Mike Miller, who's going right to the locker room. I'm not sure why, but on the replay, you could see him dive for that blocked ball. And he looked at the official and said, I don't know where you called the foul from. I'm just diving for a loose ball. Didn't make any contact. And that's the second personal foul on Mike Miller. Clubs in the league. And continues to be that way this year. Averaging 17 and a half points. And this is 12th season in the NBA. McGrady drives on Thornton. And a foul called on Washington. Foul was on Al Thornton. And what you just talked about, Phil, Al Harrington coming off the bench. Toyota League leaders leading the league in bench scoring. Last year finished second in that department and, uh, of course, he's only had eight starts this year. And he's a player that, uh, like your typical player today has to be able to play two, sometimes maybe, maybe three positions. When you want to go small, he might play the five. And Quentin Ross is in for Washington. Douglas down low. T-Mac on a fading baseline jumper, no good. And Blatch able to pull the rebound away. The points have been distributed pretty well. Guys are getting open shots and therefore shooting a higher percentage. Washington by 12, their largest lead. For the open jumper, good. Tracy McGrady. Blatch had it, but then Gallinari stole it away from him. 
Nine point Washington lead. They look for T Mac down low. Mismatch with Quentin Ross on him. Takes him inside and scores easily. 14 points for Tracy McGrady. Dr. Mark Connell walking into the locker room, and we understand he will not be back. At least Flip Saunders seemed to indicate that Singleton will be a no go in the second half. Tracy McGrady led the Knicks with 14 points in that first half on five of nine shooting. Also had a block there on Andre Blatt, but uh, like what we've seen from Tracy, keep in mind, hasn't played very much at all back before he joined this team. His last game was sometime in mid-December. He leads this team in scoring 14 points. Harrington off the bench with... It was back on March 10th of 2004 that Tracy McGrady lit things up down in Orlando, scoring 62 points, a career high against the Wizards. And they won that game 108 to 99. McGrady shooting 20 of 37 from the field. He hit five three-pointers in that game, had 10 rebounds and five assists. You see his numbers in his 33 career games against Washington. Interestingly enough, they were not playing well that year. And he said after the game, I really didn't enjoy it, but I should have. Usually when I have a big game like this, the crowd's going crazy, and I like getting into it with them, but didn't feel it tonight. In the meantime, Gilbert Arenas in that game had 40 points yeah. for Washington. That's funny. I, from what I remember, I thought the fans kind of got into it. Not every night you see it. Your hometown guy gets 62. That's partially blocked. He said he couldn't get into it because of the record the team had at the time and said they weren't going anywhere after the regular season, and it was frustrating. Chandler blocked by Mike Miller with no call. Here's Thornton the other way. Thornton with a move. He's bumped and can't get the basket to go. Wizards by one after they gave up their first lead of the night to the Knicks. And that uh, came after leading by as many as 12. Here's T-Mac. Drives on Thornton, puts it up and in. And he's at six points in this quarter already. Back out, his third assist. And for JaVale McGee, a seventh point. Washington by three. Again, Al Thornton goes for the Tracy McGrady fake and fouls him. Well, that's number four on Al. And Tracy's known to give that really good pump fake. He really shows you the ball. And uh, once he has you coming towards him, he knows how to make sure he gets the contact. We noted Washington's assist, 21 in the game on 28 made field goals. Ernie Grunfeld talked about it the other day. He said it's really about the effort, the teamwork, the chemistry is obviously a lot better. Guys are moving the ball, playing together. He said our defense has been better. Some of the younger guys stepping up. said this will give us a real good chance going down the road to evaluate what we have and where we are. Yeah, and again, guys are hungry, guys. Trying to do a little too much. McGrady's fouled, and he'll shoot two. And uh, Mike D'Antoni looking at Scott Foster saying, that was goaltending, and he said, no, it's still below the rim when it was touched. I don't even think Blatt's touched it. So McGrady at the line for two more. Six of seven from the charity stripe tonight with 22 points. And makes that one. Grady misses the second, his season high 26 points against Oklahoma City 